rolling cameras and I think first of all I want to say it's much easier to make a film than to do the making of interview. Yeah, I wanted to run away from my dad's business. Uh it wasn't so much storytelling but mostly that I didn't see myself sitting in my dad's office and I had to do something. So I wanted to be a cameraman actually. Uh I used to do stills and photography and so I thought it'd be nice to, you know, venture into documentaries and Slowly, I found my way. Got a hang of the music. What the dynamics are? Just play those dynamics without music. Okay, everything. I, I think the idea of love uh, over the years in Indian films have been oversimplified for the most for the most times, and I've um, been thinking about exploring a relationship that you know goes into the grey zone or gets murkier or is is a little more complex. So, infidelity was something that was playing on my mind for a very very long time. Uh, I just did not know how to kind of jump into in, into the story, and um, two or three years ago, when I was sitting down and writing, Aisha and I started to kind of build an idea around um, two cousins and 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 kind of infidelity taking place in that setup. Uh, you know, when I started writing Tia, she was a much simpler, naive, younger person, and then Ananya brought, so to say, her vulnerability to it. She brought. her sweetness her her love to it and that and that really you know gave this character a, a newer dimension i i i fell in love with her even more garanzam you know the the kid who doesn't want to leave college the kid whose idea of life doesn't change after he steps out of college uh, he is still an idealist he still wants to hold on to the freedom that he felt in college and he's trying his best with alicia it was very important for me to kind of define the past i wanted to understand the choices she makes from what has happened to her so for me it was first trying to understand what's in her that she's unaware of you know alicia was constantly feeling this void uh, she was unaware of all the complexities that she was holding within and zain comes into her life and he almost promises her freedom from that and i think that's where alicia feels so drawn to zain's character and he has he's he's the complete opposite of alicia right alicia at that in in the early stages of of the film is scared to make choices whereas zain he's been scarred too in his past but he's managed to make choices that are very different than alicia's and he can show her how those choices can change her life as well and i think the deeper you try and understand any character you can start to see their darkness or the, their grayness and and for in my films it's very important uh, the way we approach our character writing the way we approach our story that we can understand these characters beyond the surface level that we understand these characters in a place where we can see the choices they make and where those choices come from